Uh, you know what? I also thought about maybe like trying to get my own type of service that where I can like you know branch out and like help at risk youth facilities. Oh, you know, okay. kind of go out there and maybe like you know teach a trade or something like that. Yeah, you know, yeah, teach a trade and yeah. you know go to facilities. Uh, I would love to. You know, in like like any kind of resident residential facility, like teach a trade. You know, and yeah. you know, uh, that, that, that's a trade that I think that a lot of people kind of pass up on it. You know, like I, I think trades in general, like I think it should be in, even in colleges. Yeah, that's I just, think so too. Yeah, I you know, not, not, not everybody, <laughs> you know, not everybody wants to like do like the you know j- just your traditional uh, majors. You know, right, that's, right, right. Yeah, I think yeah, a lot of people. Are, I think a lot of people are just good with their hands and yeah. things like that. You yeah. know. Um, but I think uh, barbering it, it it's grown so fast. It's grown yeah, it's grown yeah, so fast right yeah. now, you know. And there's a lot of good barbers, hairstylists, or anybody in just in a, in that genre of like that service. Yeah, yeah. They like it's, there's people who are just really really talented. And like it's it's kind of like art. Yeah, you know, everybody, it's, it's everybody, art. everybody yeah, everybody it's fades art. different. Yeah, yeah. Everybody yeah. fades different. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. So. Uh, yeah, that's that's hard, man. I, uh, I I I really I really like that that you're thinking about the youth that way mm-hmm. because uh, um, a lot of times, like I was talking to somebody the other day just about this same thing, man. Mentors, man. We don't have a lot of them left, like we, you know. I wouldn't even say like we used to, man. It's like, but at least back in the day when we were coming up, somebody would tell you, "Hey, don't touch the stove." You'd be like, "Why?" Because mm-hmm. it's hot. Nowadays, they want to charge you to tell you that information. Yeah. And like, like, like my coaches, when my coaches took care of me, you know, my people in my my community, like they did it from the heart. You know, yeah. Like, hey, you got to ride to school, you know, like, or just take me out to eat somewhere, you know, because yeah, like, you know yeah. I was able to provide. And you yeah, know, nowadays though, if you ain't D one eligible or, or probable, or you ain't cold, or you mm-hmm. ain't the greatest at this, mm-hmm. ain't nobody even gonna try to help. Yeah, you. No, like no, the kids, like, no like one cares. Just, yeah. He's, yeah. <laughs> like what can they gain from you? Yeah, you know, being, yeah, but like my yeah. coaches did it out of good faith, right? Man. Like, right, right. Took care of me, you know. Just uh, make sure I got in the door, like the old school way. Like you know, you take someone home, you make sure that they get inside the house. Yeah. Before you pull off. Yeah. You know, yeah, and you turn yeah. back around and you wave. <laughs> you know. Yeah. Uh, but my coaches, like, yeah, like that's why I'm, I'm I'm in a position now where I am now that I'm able to try to I'm always want, willing to help somebody that's what's up man that's that's you that's know dope, like my, my coaches did it without you know asking for a please or a thank you but I always said please I said yeah. may I can I may, you know thank you and you're welcome but they did it just because because they, cause they, they they loved you yeah they loved yeah, me yeah. And, and and they saw that I, that I needed help yeah <laughs> you know but yeah. I was you know like I didn't want to ask for help right you know? right right and I just didn't know what to say but they noticed it. Yeah. And, and, yeah. and, I, and I, you know, the youth I work with, you know, sometimes they can't just talk about it to anybody, you know. Yeah, and, and, yeah. and sometimes you just got to be a listener. Yeah, I can dig that. You know, but like, yeah, but the youth is always like, like, that's our future. Yeah. You know, yeah. I mean, like, that, that that's the new generation. That's the new generation of our mentors, our doctors, our teachers, and, you know, and, and so on from there, et cetera. But uh, yeah, I'm always trying to help out youth. There's a lot of kids that come in here. You know, I try to talk to them. We've got kids who play sports. Yeah. You know, and you know, like, uh, how was your game? And that might go a long way. Yeah. Just asking them, like, you know, you know. So you got practice today, and they'll just look up at you, like, man, he actually cares. You know. Yeah, so, yeah. And it yeah, goes a long yeah. ways. You know, let's try to motivate and you know, speak of my experience to them since I played sports. You, right, you, have, right, some, right. you have you have something to relate. Yeah, yeah, with them, yeah. You know, yeah. and you know, so it's like whatever they're going through, just. Games, you know, I played games when I was young. Uh, there's sports. I can talk about sports. You know, yeah. I talk about, hey, just make sure you take care of those grades. Also, just talk about balancing things. Yeah, you know, just, yeah. So, but yeah, but I'm, I'm always willing to, how can I say, game for free. Like yeah, you say, game yeah, for free. yeah, yeah. Game for free, man. I always try to give game for free. That's what's so. up, man. That's that's hard because, uh, man, like, uh, I grew up with my grandparents, and it was a generational gap. Mm-hmm. So, when I got, when my grandparents got me, they were focused on, you know, the Lord. Mm-hmm. Just the Lord only, you know, got to get to heaven, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Which I get it, you know, but, you know, that for a, you know, 9, 10, 11, 12 mm-hmm. year old kid, you know, I get, I, yeah, I want to go to heaven too, mm-hmm. but can we do 
anything else. So to have somebody, you know, that can relate, like, hey man, I was I was just you, you know, a couple, you know, twenty years ago, yep. whatever, ten years ago. Hey man, this, you know, I went through that same thing, man. That's that's tight, mm-hmm. man. But though, this is what you may want to do to kind of straighten the path. Yeah. And uh, they may not hear you the first couple times. Oh yeah. But then they'll think back, man. That it'll come a crossroads like you in the barbershop right across. I mean, the uh, school right across the street. Mm-hmm. They'll see it. It'll be blatant to them. Like, oh man, I just I knew I know about this. I need to go ahead and study tonight. Yeah. Y'all go ahead and go. I'm going to go ahead and study because this is my chance to get to where I'm trying to yep. go. You know what I'm yep. saying? Just because, you know, you got that real estate in their mind, you know. Yep. They, they, they kind of stay focused. So that's that's hard, man. I, I, I like that, man. Yeah, I man. Like, like I that. said, I'm appreciating the journey, man. And, yeah, you know, yeah. And, and, and every day is something new. You yeah. know, every, every day is a new cut. You yeah. Know? So, <laughs> and, you know, uh, I'm all for that that, that that it has to offer and, and just everything that just pops up, you know, day by day. So. Yeah, yeah. No doubt. No doubt.